Only on CBS4, cocaine confusion, a prank and a mistake by police leads to a huge problem for a UM student. Natalia Zaya has his story. University of Miami student Jonathan Harrington admits his idea to use powdered sugar to prank his resident advisor at his college campus apartment was not the brightest idea. Why on earth would you decide to pull this prank? It's a good question. I guess I have more time than sense. <laughs> My older brother says I was poking the bear, which is true. But even after a recent misdemeanor charge for minor pot possession back in April, he felt the urge to make light of the routine security checks the RAs conduct in his building. He poured powdered sugar on his kitchen counter and coffee table and cut it into lines. With the confectionery powder in plain sight next to a few aspirin pills, Jonathan thought it was obvious this was a bad joke. I was like, hey, I guess you're here about this powdered sugar prank. And they told me nobody's laughing. Jonathan still thought he'd walk away from the prank once police began using a cocaine field test on the powder until police say it tested positive. Hey, after 20 minutes, it turned blue. That's a felony. You're under arrest. And they slapped cuffs on me. Jonathan spent the next two days in a county jail charged with cocaine possession. Jonathan finally bonded out and found out the state dropped the charges against him because the crime lab found indeed that the coke in question is really meant for non-narcotic sweet treats. But knowing that the police field test gave a false positive result troubles him deeply. I'm glad I got off easily because some people have it worse. And many people, they are pressured by this to plead out, to accept responsibility for something they may not have done. Jonathan says he plans to move after causing so much trouble here in this apartment. And he says he's hoping to become a doctor one day. But first, he has to get his arrest record expunged. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. Well, the